knocking on a hundred doors. And again, I, I, I can't speak very much about it as an authority because I've never done door to door, but I do see the tremendous value of learning to deal with the rejection. You know, I've been on the, I've been on, I've been on the inside of the door when people knock on my door, you know, and, yeah. and I always tell them, man, I really admire what you do. I mean, it just, uh, you know, the call reluctance I've, I've sold millions of dollars of, of products and services, hundreds of millions of dollars, of products and services over the phone, you know, and, and in phone sales, we have a call center behind us back here and, you know, we've evolved into a, a text center basically, but, um, we, uh, selling on the phone and running a call center, we have a term called call reluctance, you know, but I'm, I'm sure that, I don't know. Have you heard of call reluctance in the door to door? Uh, I've, I've actually never heard the term before. Okay. All right. So what it is, and, and I've talked to door to door about this call, you know, that, that fear of knocking on the door, like, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, okay. that that's a call reluctance dialing, dialing that person, you know, people have a fear. They have a fear of the phone and, you know, I, I, I have felt that fear and it's, you have to feel the fear and do it anyway. So I'm sure that has to be, um, did, did you immediately like have no fear knocking on doors or was there that call reluctance in the beginning? Man, so I, I, I'm an enigma to be honest. So my, my very first day in door to door and like, it, it was crazy. So like I, I show up and you know, the, these guys don't even have an office yet. They're new in my city. And the guy that got me the job, he was a regional sales manager. I, I knew him from the poker table actually. And like, I, I knew he made good money, but I, I didn't know exactly what he did. And so I, I call him up and I'm like, yeah, you can get me a job. You know, it's my lawyer's like, you know, you want to have a job before you go to court. So he's like, oh, I, I happen to be open in a market in St. Louis. Well, I found out later he called his manager and he's like, I got this kid in St. Louis. He's kind of ghetto. He's probably not going to work out, but he's my friend. So I'll give him a shot. You know, back in those days, I had my hat cocked to the side, sagging my pants, you know, red bandana hanging out of my pocket. And so um, I go, but I go into this office. And our, you know, we're meeting in a Starbucks. They don't even have an office yet because it's brand new. And all these guys are just showing me their check stubs for $1,000 a week. And like I had never known anybody my age at that point in time making $1,000 a week. And that was just all the money in the world to me. So that very first day, I followed the manager, watched him make like 150 bucks, And then the second day, I watched him make 200 And he's like, you want to make 150 200 a day? And I was like, damn right. And he's like, all right, here's a binder. Go knock those doors. And I, I just went and started knocking. And like, cause I, I saw it could be done. So I, I believed it. And I believed in myself because like, I didn't know anything about legit sales at that time, but I knew I was better than those guys. Mm -hmm. So I, I was just like, I, I'm going to make it work. And I, I figured it out. My, my first week, to be real, I only made $160, but every week it got bigger and bigger and bigger because I, I started buying sales books. I, I started watching, you know, you know, YouTube wasn't around then, but I I, I buy I buy like those little uh, tapes and stuff. They had tapes you could buy still then, but uh, yeah, you know, and I I never had I never felt that, but I know that is a real thing that people feel the the reluctance. Yeah. So the reason you didn't uh, you you didn't feel it is you you had you you had the proper motivation. You were motivated by the money, and 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 so I tell people. That I that I mentor and, and people on the show every week. I said when when I have a guest on here or when you hear me speak or you read a book, um, you have to add, you need to ask yourself a question um, about the person giving you the information. Number one, do they know what they're talking about? And if they, that's basically the only question you really need to ask to do <laughs> is do they know what they're talking about? And if they if they if they do know what they're talking about, and they say you can do X and you want X, then you need to do exactly what your person said. If they're, if there's someone, you know, of, um, a value, someone you look up to, someone you trust, someone that is ethical, uh, then you need to do exactly what they tell you. So, um, you saw that you saw the money he was making and he said it, Smith Smith, he said, and I knew it was true. You know, you, you saw what he said, you evaluated it. He's not full of it. I see him doing it. And I want that. So you just, you know, that that's, that's a problem. A lot of people deal with. There's so many people who read a lot. There's so many people who ingest a lot of information from YouTube videos. They watch Gary V. They watch Grant Cardone. They watch different various podcasts. You know, they, they watch, um, Jocko Elling. Yeah. They watch mm -hmm. all this stuff, you know, that sounds good. And they're like watching it 
and then they don't they don't implement it because like okay obviously you did not believe what he, what he just said because you're not doing it you you know you're just, okay. just you're just you're just filling your head up with information but you're taking no action so that that's um possibly an enigma yes there's very few people as a matter of fact people who watch this show and and people and there's tremendous value in 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 the information we put out here but probably one out of 10 people implement it in my book the art of text message selling as that book has made hundreds of millions of dollars for salespeople and businesses all over the country but there's there's sales people who rely on sales or they rely on they, they talk to people through through text message and they haven't bought the book it's just you know taking action is is so important